Welcome back, lords and ladies, to another Hogwarts Legacy episode. I know I said at the end of the last one that we would be talking about. I should pretend I never heard the rumors of your involvement. As I was saying, I know I said that we talk about what to do with the dragon egg, but hear me out. But hear me out. Can't thank you enough for help. Side quest. I do hope Mary and her neighbors are. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely, but I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so I sure. I am a student, yes. Name's but Crispin Dunn. Adventure. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask. Are you afraid of spiders? Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky yeah. you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my Good. friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her, and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Uh, literally me. I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Me. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. Sure. Um... Yeah, definitely not going to ignore you guys and help a dragon. Definitely. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. I... There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. The least amount of people secrets, that know, the I better. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Good. I'll let you know when I... So? Oh, okay. I'm sure you had your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. I didn't. Def definitely wasn't me. Talk about you taking down that troll in the village. I'm, I'm glad. So I guess... Now, hear me out, hear me out. I could help those people with the spider paw, and I would gladly love to. But... Side quest. Always side quest first. I do enjoy how with the Revelio spell... Honestly, I... Wait, let me check. Yes, okay. So actually, yeah. That's that's such a neat trick. I do love that. What you what you're running from? Revelio. Anytime I cast a spell, my cloak lights up. I'll help you. Yeah, sure. Just give me a second. I can't. 
You're boring game. Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacrissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvelous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Jesus. Our spotted classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. That was just... Forest for boobatubas. I hope it's worth the risk. It better be. It really better be worth the risk, because if not, I'm just going to be a little ticked. Like, she came at me all high and mighty and pretentious. He's like, I need boob tubers. No, do you really? You're trying to help, saying you help. But this is where Sakurissa said to go. And where are those boob tubers? Revelio. Just my luck. Um. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind fighting the trolls. Where are the booba tubers? I hear these. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. That's it. I, that's all I get. No. Nope. 
I just realized. I don't think... So I have one broom upgrade. I never got that second broom upgrade with them. Unless... Do I still have more... Like... Sometimes it seems all things to do dogs meet. on that one. Because I swear I did all the races. Take your Sakurissa. boob tubers. I found the boob tubers you needed. Boob tubers. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Sure, whatever. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. Probably you, because it's probably a sham. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. All right. Um. Ooh. I'm going to help Sebastian. Sebastian's always been there for me. Um, there's also Natty. I haven't helped Natty in a while, so I think I'm going to help her next. It's been a hot minute since I've talked with Natty. I can't remember the last thing I did with Natty. It's been a while. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. We saved Highwing. That's what I was doing with her. I about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I just left Hogsmeade. Couldn't you have told me that like five minutes earlier? It was oh I'm in the astronomy classroom, not the divination classroom. <sighs> Oi. I know how much they hate confusing divination and astronomy. Astrology. No, it's astronomy, because astrology is just... Uh, excuse me? So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. It could have been anything. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She blamed me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But, Mother! My not little like gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. Ouch. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Ouch. Ooh. So Straight playing the father card. That's got it. That she stinks. That's a little. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. 
then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that Can I is become just this? the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I, I don't think because that's... Because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. That's more like it, yeah. Now the nickname makes Gazelles sense. aren't really known to be adaptive. <sighs> it is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. She's right. <sighs> she though. claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> do as I say, I not as I do, please. Thank you for being here during that Thank rather awkward conversation. Perhaps I can find a housemate to educate. What does it matter whether we even do our homework? I just want to be a baker on the <sighs> street. I don't think that even requires that. Yeah, I don't think you should be transforming into a deer anymore. So many side quests, oh my god. Okay. don't understand the concept of the platform. I thought it was because they it was like a um because the flu powder which I love how I haven't even discovered that I have no reason to have it in the first place um You know, I think I'm going to. I'll sp mm. <laughs> I have to meet Sebastian two different places. Um. Imperio, no, we're we're doing this one. I'm sorry. I I know you shouldn't be learning dark magic and all what do you do but dark magic come on imperio having your enemies work for you again, instead of against you work smarter not harder come on folks isn't that what our professors told us never stopped me before lumos you're here. Good. Sebastian, yeah. that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. Just said catacomb. I need to see her. So catacomb. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, 
Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. Nope. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Stop saying catacomb. It's a catacomb. God, British people. Word correctly. Sure that foul smell is um, I am going to put that there. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm against spiders, so. Depulsor. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that's Accio. it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. They're not insects, they're arachnids. Confringo! This room is taller than it looks. Oh, it is. There we go. Finding a chest in an <gasps> inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. Christmas tree. I got it. Revelio. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Confringo! Aki! Whoa. Yeah, we'll go this way. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Fire at me. There we go. Thank you. You're supposed to kill him? God. Amateurs. All this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. That's we'll a chest. Fine, what is this, Skyrim? Dweemer looking motherfucker. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Akio, even old guardian of your bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Confringo. There's something here by the altar. Confringo. Leave it where I lay, but research come. 
English oak wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. I to conjure two barricades to isolate the right. Land for turn but first I must rifles. So learning the Imperius curse the spell set to serve well. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It sure. does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! You've done it. I knew we could bring them. I felt it from my bones. Nice. Really? Rebellion. Excuse me. Hello? Revelio Confringo Hello We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Yeah, we do. Accio. Bones. Bones. I need to find a safe way across. Defender. Confringo. Incendio. Lumos. Incendium. Lumos. Hello? Where are the bones? Akio. Lumos. Lumos. Akio. There are my bones. Guardian Leviosa. Akio. Hello. Lumos. I think there should be more bones. There are more bones. 
Accio. Guardian Leviosa. There we go. Rickety bone bridge complete. So weird that I Rebellion. use a bone bridge. Here we go. Accio. That a witch mannequin. Interesting. And that's awesome. Rebellion. Now that we have that salt. I feel comfortable going down here. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Oh god, it's a four. Here we go. Here we go. Something trouble. It's not my favorite curse. But it's got its uses. Confringo. Capulso. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. That worked. Keep going. Um. Oh, oh, it's what opens up each of the doors. That's we've read the world of another spider. Um, I shall sleep better tonight. Accio. That one and then that one. Good. That one. That one. You are cool. head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely Stop. Done. I'm gonna go this way. Incendio. In 
ascended. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Akio. There's just so much here. I mean, yeah, it is a tomb, so like, don't be. Nice. Levioso, Accio, Compulso, Incendio. Revelio. Any else I miss? No, that was it. Cool. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt yeah, anyone's really been here in quite some time. Ooh. You get over there, bud? Incendio! Now we can go the right way. I think this episode is going to be a little bit longer than normal. But that's okay. Because we're having fun here. See why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. There we go. For a moment there, I thought that'd never end. All the spider fangs in the world, thank you very much. I forget what I have to use spider fangs for. Confringo! Akio! Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Rebellion. It contains abundant potential. It's possible, to be difficult. Ugh. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. I'm willing yeah, to ignore sure. what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake. Yes, for I'm Anne's sake. It. Let's get to Feldcroft. Yeah. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. My book says this is ominous. Ominous? What ominous. the hell? The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. 
We can find another way to help her. I'm sorry. He knows more this, than he's letting it. on. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over sorry, this? Ominous. I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium! Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd. But I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. No I more. Feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. No, You're it's not, not what we agreed to in the This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <laughs> they still... No. Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word. None more. of these spells we're learning are harmless. I hope I don't regret this. Like I Sebastian, hope. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. I hope they realize. Ominous. Well, I'll explain on the way. Either. Come on. Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you, and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. I hope they realize that none of these spells we know are actually harmless. Like all of them are harmful in one way or another. Evidently from the countless battles I've been fighting. It's it's just it's ridiculous that they think of that. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. Yeah, well... He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. A pan. Do I actually have to run all the way back to Feldcrypt? I do. <laughs> Oh, thank you. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke over there by the hamlet. Well, there's just random smoke coming out of nowhere. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Oh, 
Um, where is it? Was the disarming one? Right there. Okay. Um. I just. I, time, I nearly fell out of a car at Green Dots. I was only young, mine. We're not like I'd fall out now. You'll not win here. Maybe you There we go. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. There was little time to react, but it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. He cannot banish me from my own home, from my sister. It might be best to let him calm down. To be fair, there, there are other spells to, to use. Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Yeah. Get over here, Uncle Sh Brains. I'm gonna teach you a little bit about magic. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. He's a... <sighs> Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies what sebastian did cannot be undone that you are defending sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything i need to know you are as guilty as he is sebastian is to come nowhere near feldcroft nowhere near Anne. unforgivable curses are so named for a reason if i hear that either of you continues down this path if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Oh no. It's not like we already I have an education. Sebastian. Hey, Anne, can I talk to you? No? Ooh, letter. More letters. Okay. Bye, Anne. Alright, well, sorry for the longer episode. Um, I knew it was going to run long, but... It was fun. We learned a new unforgivable curse. Yes, they are unforgivable because, you know, you're technically forcing enemies to do against their will and you're causing unforgivable pain to them. But also, like, come on. We can cause explosions and damage upon impact and literally slicing things. Like... Yes, the Umbrigal Curses are terrible, but so is every other spell you use. 
I guess you if you have to draw a line somewhere, taking control of people and immediately killing them, I guess you could call that a line. But then again, I'd rather be immediately killed than freaking burned to death or slashed in half or frozen and then slashed into pieces. It's just some of these spells are conflicting. Not saying that I condone the uses of for guild curses. Get me wrong. They are bad. But morality is a spectrum. And I'll just leave it at that. And as always, stay royal, my friends.